Hello and welcome to Popcorn Arcade, presented by Brew Deluxe. I'm your host, Bryce McEwen, and joining me is Corbin Mitchell, the man behind the camera. Today, we're going to be playing Halo Anniversary Edition every single level of the campaign. I have never ever played the Halos before, but Corbin is an absolute expert at them, so you are going to be able to sit there and witness us buffooning and skullduggering our way through the levels. Enjoy. Corbin, here we are, starting off Halo playing through. We're going to play the whole series, aren't we? Oh yeah, oh yeah. The entire series. This is the Pillar of Autumn. Now we're of course playing with the updated graphics. Now this is the Anniversary Edition where you can cut between the old graphics and the new graphics. Yep. Do you think we should play with old graphics for nostalgia's sake? Or new graphics for pleasantries oh, to the eyes? I reckon go updated ones. If there's ever like a critical moment, like we can swap to and be like, Wow, look at the difference. Because like Halo 2 Anniversary, they, they reckon it's coming out this year, mm -hmm. so we'll play that one updated as well. So okay. this is like, this is getting us ready for Halo pumped. 2 Anniversary. Alright, alright, I'm pumped and primed. Captain Keys. That is the most exposed bridge of all time. It's, yeah. it's like, what will defend us against the aliens? Don't worry, this glass is at least an inch thick. Whoa, it looks so different! I love how it's updated graphics, it is still the ugliest smoke I've ever seen. <laughs> you leave Captain Keys alone! That is... Well, look at him, he's like on two steps at a time. He's like, I, got, I ain't got time for those steps. I ain't got time for these steps. I'm a captain! I gotta command people, I don't have time for this extra set bullshit. Yeah, keep clicking those buttons, soldier. You're doing your country, you're doing your planet proud. Doing your planet proud, man, man. Incoming triangles! <laughs> Sarah? What's that guy? That's his job, it's just a salute. <laughs> Captain's coming, quick, get ready! My job is to salute the captain. <laughs> I suppose after seeing all these aliens, they're not like really like concerned. Like, hey, it's a, a ring space oh, thing. Yeah, because at this point, how long have, have the aliens and the humans been? Oh, at least a couple of years. I can't remember, but it's okay. it's it's not like they just attacked yesterday. They've been at war for a few years. I'm pretty sure. Okay, and what made the aliens Let's attack Earth? Oh, they haven't attacked Earth yet. Oh, um, sorry, what made them at war with the humans? Um, it like, you don't find out to Halo 2, but it basically goes against their religion and they believe they're like, filthy and... Yeah, the humans are filthy. Yeah, they basically want to wipe them out because they believe it will, like, appease the gods. Like, oh, they believe in gods and stuff like that. Now, was this seen in the original Halo? It was. Really? Yeah, it didn't look as flash, it was a lot of brown and grey. It, it's wow. a bit more updated now. Because at the intro, I said I've never played this before, I lied. I have not probably <laughs> played this for maybe, uh, like... Eight or nine years. It's been a very long time since I've so played So it's this. basically all fresh. It is you. basically all fresh to me. I played the first level quite a few times because you and I were every now and then just click on the first level and play. But uh, this is for the majority going to be all fresh and new to me. Although this is like aliens and it's like Star Wars and everything, it's so cool. It's great sci fi. Apparently, some of the lines that the soldiers say are taken directly word for word from the movie Alien. <laughs> <laughs> if they do a movie, can Samuel L. Jackson, Jackson please play Sergeant Johnson? Yes. Or that, um, the black guy from Thor, what's his name? Oh, he'd be great! I can't remember his name. No, yeah! But he would be awesome. Him, because he was also in Mandela and uh, Pacific Rim. No, he would be great too. This is going to be a legend. <laughs> I know this game's like a fire. How many times do you think you've played this? Oh, probably about as many times as I've seen sure. the Star Wars movies, to be honest. Wow. I'm a, I'm, I was That's a bit huge. of a Halo fanboy back in the day. Not as much today, but it's huge big seconds. to me. <laughs> so what, what was so interesting to you about the games? I remember seeing for the first time at school, like a teacher brought it, of all things. That's what, teacher brought Halo? Yeah, he's like, I shouldn't be showing you guys this, but... You know, stuff it. Here's Halo. So we brought in his Xbox and hooked it up. Yeah, because we're doing Rally Sport Challenge. We're doing like a tournament, and I lost. I came second, but um, I would have won if I had known what Accelerate was. Okay. Um, basically, I sat back at the starting line for about a minute. I was looking at the wrong screen, um, and then I basically came second. So if we had of, um, if I had known, I would have won. I had to let it go, man. Oh, it's got my controls. But then, like, I had a Nintendo sixty four at the time. I saw. I saw Halo and I was like, I want an Xbox. I've made up my mind. You made it up? Oh, did they put you on invert? Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Disable. Accept. Sorry, folks. Yeah, they put me on invert. Oh, they're sneaky bugs. Oh, sneaky oh no, bugs. he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. I always used to follow him and get hurt. <laughs> the fire. No, my, my good old armor and shields is not working. It's interesting how, like, just how much gravity doesn't affect your player. 
In this, you jump so high and for so long. That's right. Crouch. Learn to jump. Learn to crouch. Seamlessly in the game. Oh no, I can't Wait for me! Move. Wait for me! Alright, look at this guy. He's just getting blown away. Can I steal his gun? No, you don't get a gun just yet. Oh, that's bullshit. This game is bullshit cool. Oh, the checkpoint system is ridiculous. I love how it, it always used to jump. This is not the uh, us recording, it's the actual game jumping. <laughs> oh, so, like, you, this whole level, it's like, if you're the second player, like, if you're the person at the back, you're always constantly getting teleported ahead, and you're like, fuck. Oh, oh, we should probably explain, I'm on the top screen, and Corbin's on the bottom screen. So Bryce, top, Corbin, bottom. Just like our sex. I'm after him. Oh, Jesus. On the bridge, ASAP. Better follow me. It's Aussie Canada. <laughs> it did, like, a little... little. Oh, g'day mate. I hear you'll just be working out from the carbon freezing. How you bloody go, Master Chief, sir? Yeah. Mate, we ain't got no time to put snags on the barber. You've got to come meet the captain. <laughs> and then if people have played Halo Reach, of course, this is taken... This is like pretty much within 24 this hours of the end of Halo Reach. Yeah. This is, this is the saluting man. He didn't salute us. What a prick. <laughs> oh, no. What a jerk. He had one job. Salute us. Captain Key. How you doing, Master Chief? Yo, what's up? Welcome to the bridge. What's up? And get off out of my grill. <laughs> oh, it's a sexy computer girl. I'd make love to all her ones and zeros. <laughs> when did this game come out? And when the game... Oh, one. 2001. No, 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 I mean the, um, oh, the updated one. Uh, within the last few years? Yeah, we've been like sure. 2012 or something. Yeah. But were these graphics very, really super duper new when they came out, or were they a bit like, oh, right. it just looks better than what it used to? It does look better, the graphics are pretty good, but some of the facial animations like this guy, are Captain, a little bit weird. Captain Keys is just a, a mess of a human being. Like, they do like these little weird little, like, you know, like, it's... But like, it's still, they've got this, like, overbite with the lip thing. <laughs> Like, watch her, watch how robotic she is. Like, she's a computer program, but she just seems more robotic. Yeah. I don't know, but it, it's still pretty cool. I loved playing through this again. I was just like, with update, I'm like, it's like, it's new. It's like... Have you, um, you've completed some Legendary, of course? Still legendary Cobb and Solo. Wow. It was, I did it before as a younger, so I did it again. Wow. Good challenge, good fun. Bit of rage quitting here and there, but I bet. I bet. I bet. You have to kill some aliens, protect the thing, and 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 save the world. Do that thing. Okay. I understand. Okay. Four games later, Earth has been destroyed. <laughs> oh, it'd be cool in Halo Two, um, all the updated stuff there, because there's it's they really went all out with Halo Two, like cinematic wise. They really tried. Because <laughs> you, what's your favorite of the of the? I guess it's the four main ones. Halo oh, 1, Halo 3. 3. So epic. You liked finishing the fight? <laughs> it was a bit of a lie, but at the time it was awesome. At the time I thought I genuinely was finishing the fight. Went, but, to, went to the midnight launch and then played it non-stop with a mate till like 8am. Wow. We did it. We're like, I went to you sleep all the way. I sleep through it the day the next day. I'm like, oh. Don't get it. You finished it within 12 hours oh, of uh, we, we were We were pretty excited. See this? Uh, this is like, mate. You're just giving us a gun with no bullets. You're as fucking useful as tits on a ball. Don't keep it loaded, son. Yeah. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Wave it menacingly and hit them on the head with it? Oh, in the what they added here in the anniversary. Come over here. If you come up and press X to use that terminal there, the red one. This one. It's a little addition they did. It's these little bonus sort of background stuff with 343 Guilty Spark that wasn't in the original. Oh. Gives you some achievements, a bit of backstory. Because from my memory, Guilty Spark is, is your main backup. Yes. Yeah. It's just a bit of backstory with the four owners and Guilty Spark, what he's doing at the, as while you're doing stuff, what he's been doing before you arrived. I just remember when I played it through originally, Guilty Spark is some of the hell on me because it's like, you just shoot him with your shotgun or hit a rocket at him and he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that, Reclaimer. Yeah. Please don't do that. He, he tries to get your plasma grenade to it. Yeah, it's always bounce off the defensive systems. Little box. It's so funny. He reminds you like C three PO in Nintendo too. He does. Yeah, he's funny. Oh, oh, this is a cool history. event. Yeah, so he basically like goes through all human history that's on the ship, and then because 
They're like, they're kind of, they're like basically the chosen ones, chosen by the four owners, yada yada. You find all these guys in Yeah, so he's like, the Covenant, they're not recognized. So he's basically like, so that's why the Sentinels are killing the Covenant. And that, but he, he recognizes the humans, so he's basically like, yeah, come on to the thing. You know, you're, you're welcome here. You're, you were chosen by the forerunners. Pretty much. Why? Why were they? Is it because Gilly started to be used, or we genuinely were chosen by the forerunners? No, I genuinely were. Like human, I, I, it, it gets a bit hazy. Like you, you learn a bit more in Halo Four. But basically, Covenant believe they're the chosen ones, mm -hmm. but it's actually the humans. I see. Now, does Guilty Guilty Spark spoiler alert? Guilty, <laughs> Halo Three ends with I've been told with Guilty Spark dying. Yeah, you yeah. laser him. It's this, very awesome. Did he come back for Halo 4? No, no. Is the Guilty Sparks anything more to do? Sorry? Is there anything more to do? Because he's not... Guilty Spark wasn't the only other Sparks where... where it was. Yeah, there's one per Halo ring. You meet a yellow one in Halo 2. Those Marines could use some help, Chief. But yeah, he, he's completely gone after 3. Halo 4, it's, it's alright, but it just feels a little bit hollow because... By the end of it, you know, you've lost all the side characters that were sort of your companions. And is that so you feel a bit alone. Is that the point to try and make you feel alone, like that kind of Metroid feel? I don't, maybe, but I'm not a fan. Not you know, I, I, I love the way you had Sergeant Johnson as a companion, um, and everything like that. Captain Keys and Miranda Keys and everything. And without that, it just, like, must seem be such a 2D character, as awesome as he, as awesome as he is. He is a 2D character, and it just gets a bit lonely. I the story. I was just to be like, you know, this is cool, but there's no funny banter or cool characters apart from Master Chief. Because the human characters in 4 are just so boring. I'm trying to remember the controls. I'd like to say, just immediately when I yeah. went to shoot, I typed in, I put in the left trigger the right one. <laughs> No, to start there, I was I was trying to melee and I clicked to zoom in. <laughs> oh yeah, because of course, why can't shooters just have one? Oh, oh, that would be nice. Uh, or completely customizable control. Love this rifle. Right. Which rifle? Right the inside rifle? Right yeah, love it. See the the so first fun. the guns in this first one are so overpowered. Oh, they really are. Now, what's the light button? Uh, left bumper. Uh huh. It's so Onward. so so much overpowered. The pistol is. <laughs> the pistol is literally like sniper rifle, everything turned into one. It really is. It's too much. Oh, hey, Marie, here you go. On. And the guns feel so much more powerful in this one as opposed to. Because I've played a lot of the multiplayer of the other games. And they just feel. feel so much better. Halo 2 is like, even if you had, even though you had two SMGs. Still, they still felt like pea shoes. Yeah, exactly. It felt like I was throwing my hand. Battle rifle though? I do like the lock fire. That's the three shooter roll, isn't it? Yeah. But then they've gone even crazy in four, they added um, a saw machine gun. So oh, you, really? It's It's got a higher rate of fire than the saw rifle. It's so satisfying to use. In multiplayer, especially. It's so good. I think you go with sprints as well. It's not working out very well for me. And you gotta collect medkits, none of this recharging hell stuff. Really? Is that like all of them or just this first one? Just this first one. Oh, I can't remember. I think Halo 2 had medkits. The Halo 3 definitely not. But then they brought it back. They brought it back in ODST. Oh, okay. I love this shit. <laughs> It's a good Halo. I love Halo as well. Like they've got a good mix of, of enemies. Like you've got the ones you can just gun down, and then you've got the ones that offer a bit of a challenge. And I think the AI is still okay for today. Yeah. They really like on legendary. They're terrifying. They're so relentless. They just come for you. Or they just completely suppress you. It's like please, please have mercy. I was reading apparently in Halo Three. They updated the AI so that the all the player or like all the grunts and the, um, like the elites would act in unison. So oh, they would yes. all cover at the same time, they would all come out and attack you at the same time. Like that sounds that's that why is that such a revolutionary thing that's taken so long to figure out? <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember there was so much hype with Halo 3, like they had all these like video documentaries and stuff. 
There was the one where, yeah, they showed all the new brutes. And they're like, yeah, like a, a brute chieftain will say, everyone throw grenades and they all will. Or uh, it'll cool. like give commands to the other ones and then they sort of act like a pack. Which is really cool. But the, the brutes in Halo 2 are rubbish. They're just oh, too much hell. They are annoying. But Halo 3, they were really cool. Oh, oh shit. Corbin, I'm down. The first death of the game. Oh, no, you got caught by a plasma grenade. It's yes. high quarters. That's, that's, all, that's cool. What happened to my... I lost my assault rifle. Oh, no. Oh, there's, there's loads. Sad face. They're everywhere. Suck at the same plasma thing. Oh. The needler. Oh, my God. The needler. I had a friend in high school. He only got a, a Halo. He only got an Xbox 360. Are you shooting me? You son of a bitch? No, I was shooting the elite, but he. You no, were you're mine. dead. You're dead to me now, boy. <laughs> no. I was shooting the elite. So my friend in high school, he only got Halo Three purely because that's what he was playing, and he would come to school saying like, "The Needler is the best gun in the game." I'm like, "Really? Really? <laughs> the best gun? I'm finding that hard to believe." It was very handy and legendary. If you ever just need to take out an elite. Sort of just hone in on him and take him out, and then you'd be like, resort to other weapons. Where do we go from here? Oh, uh, we gotta wait a moment and go into the, the maintenance thing. Left! I remember which way to go in these as well. How bad is that? That's how much you played it? Yeah. And that's right. There's gonna be a guy in here somewhere soon. Or is that the next That's like, Oh, and then you spawn right in front of me. And you go, whoop. You can either go guns blazing out through there, or you can sneak around this way. What are we going to sneak? Well, you can only get a surprise, and we might be able to take out an elite quietly. Dun, 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 I think he's around dun, here. Dun. Oh no. Guns blazing! Dun, Down on the ground, fool. Damn. One of the coolest things too I remember with this game is when you kill someone that's die still firing. Yeah. I always yeah. thought that was a cool little idea. Which way down here? Yes. That is cool, like they thought of it. Like they're like, you know, if you're you know, you're in combat, you're holding down the trigger shooting, if you die, you know, your thing is gonna be holding down a little bit longer. It's cool they thought of that. Oh they got a red one in here. Maybe you just have that in the old one. Because I've only ever played the old one. Oh no, they're coming. Does the red one come? Nah. Man, it's taken us 20 minutes to get here. Right. <laughs> You're ages away. There's no, honestly, there's no like elevator up. It's like, you gotta go to the bridge. Yeah, my, yeah, my yeah, thing is, like, it's really poor design on the ship why it takes 20 minutes to get from the observation down to the deck. <laughs> like, someone messed up there with the design. That's why the humans are losing the war. They're bloody, bloody what, bad design. I don't know what they're doing. And then there's a grunt. Then there's another grunt. But you go this way. Uh, childhood. Teenage Childhood wasted. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. Was that the Aussie Commando again? Yeah. Over here, mate. I was going to have the Aussie, Aussie Marines. It's so funny. Over here, mate. You, the, we I got a few over taller. here. He's over here. Well, he's giving you a bit of a hard time. <laughs> Kaboom. Nice. Thanks, man. So many grenades! You're the best. Good old couch call. Hard to beat. That's with all the grenades. Grenade! Grenade! You know what this life, what this world means. One last life boat. Oh my god! We got it. Did we survive? Oh, wait for it. Whoa! You're gonna survive, soldier. Get yeah, one to a shot. Let's get the fuck out of here. We're out of here, Corbin. He made it. The first level. Down to Halo. Down to the planet-like Halo. And it always cracks me up because they're like, Keys is going in manual. And I just imagine Keys there on the ship with like a big ship wheel, just like... <laughs> <laughs> like an old captain. <laughs> I'm driving her in manual, lads! <laughs> captain Keys, I'll what are you doing? <laughs> he's got like a He's got like a big hat and a parrot on his shoulder. I'll save us, lads! <laughs> that would be amazing. I'm taking the ship in manually. 
And they've all got seatbelts and stuff, and you're the only one that survives. Yeah, you're the guy without a seatbelt. What does that say for the safety of anything? Yeah. Oh, no. What's that attacking the ship? Uh, the, there's like a whole bunch of Covenant ships oh. attacking. And you find out in Halo 2 that the Arbiter you play as the Elite, he's actually the commander of this little fleet that was like following you to Halo, oh, okay. which is kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, I wish Captain Gears was piloting this ship. He Duck. would have done it manually. <laughs> and cover. And there you have it. That's level one. I'll do yeah, level two. Halo. Warthog. Yes. Level yeah, one. Com- oh, look, it's official. Level one complete for we, you. We made it. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you uh, subscribe because next week we'll be playing level two. I've been Bryce McEwen. I've been Corbin. And this has been Popcorn Arcade presented by Brutal Deluxe.